Okay guys, so this is my skin. I've taken my shower. I'm yet to do my skincare. So this is what my bare skin looks like. Um, I usually don't get breakouts. I'm combination to oily skin. I usually don't break out. It's just a thing, um, genetic thing, I guess. I only break out when it's that time of the month. So whenever I see a breakout, I know that it's that time of the month. So I don't even stress about it. But my general problems that I have or my skin concerns that I have are large pores and textures. I have a good amount of texture on my face. If you watch my makeup videos, then you would see that I have textured skin, especially in the perimeters of my face and pores, large pores in the T-zone areas. And then I have oils or sebum or sebum. I don't know how they say that. Um, it usually it's, it, it's usually in the center part of my face. So, with my morning skincare routine if i put on makeup the day before i cleanse that morning because i feel like i need to go back in and cleanse even though i've done like cleansing the night before what i uh what i i realized with makeup sometimes mascara never really comes off all these like waterproof mascara it's hard to take it off so sometimes in the morning you find that you still have mascara which gives you like panda eyes that's what i call it panda eyes like when you see that you still have like black pencil or whatever going on around your eyes so because of that whenever i put on makeup the night before i like to go back in and cleanse just so that i know that my skin is like really nice and clean okay i like to get a squeaky clean skin but not a dry skin squeaky clean so um i put on makeup yesterday so i'll go in and cleanse this morning morning but on a normal day i won't cleanse if i don't have makeup on the, the day before so for my morning cleanser what i would use is simple this is a simple foaming cleanser i love this cleanser because it's nice and gentle especially for the mornings you know for daytime and then in the evening i like to take my time and do like proper proper treatment you know so i'm gonna go in and use this to cleanse my skin So with a nice clean towel, white towel, I just wipe my face off. And then the next thing that I'm gonna do is use my toner. This is the Belief Face Toning Mist. It's an energizing mist. I don't want my skin to dry, so I quickly go in and do that before my skin gets like proper dry. Show me what you want. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my palm to just press that in i just like to have my skin absorb that really well and before it goes completely dry i'm gonna go in with my treatment or my serum the first serum that i use is my vitamin c serum this is the pelicense vitamin c serum vitamin c helps with dark spots hyperpigmentation and all of that good stuff and I have a lot of that, not a lot of dark spot, but I have high cap, high, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I don't have a lot of dark spot, but I have hyperpigmentation in this areas of my face. It gives me sort of like a natural contour. You guys see, I've had this for a while now. So that's what I'm currently working on. In the beginning, I thought that it was normal. For some reason, I thought that my skin just had a natural contour, but that was a lie. So what I'm gonna do is press this in. Now I go ahead and just use my fingertips to just massage it in. You guys know that I love skincare. I love a good skincare. And skincare for me is a huge part of self-care. For me, whenever I need to unwind at the end of the day, it needs to include some form of skincare, body care, you know. Um, next, I'm gonna go in with hyaluronic acid. This is for moisture retention, plumpier skin, hydration. All of my serums, I use about two to three drops. And then I do the same process. I just press it in. And then I go back with my fingertips and then I massage. 
and for the hyaluronic acid i try to concentrate more on the perimeters of my face because i find that those are the areas that are mostly really dry i like to press that um, the hyaluronic acid in those areas of my face really well and then next i'm gonna go in with some eye cream this is from tula is their probiotic eye cream it has a glow to it so i love to use it in the daytime because i feel like when you wake up in the morning <laughs> you need some glow to your life and this just really helps like it helps my my it helps me look like i'm awake you know it gives me the i'm awake kind of look and then next i'm gonna go in with my daytime moisturizer this is from the brand azure um is their vitamin c and collagen moisturizing day cream really nice and like perfect for my skin type it's actually kind of rich uh, but i love it i absolutely love the way it applies and then the next thing that i'm going to use is my facial oil this is from pacifica this is the super flower rapid response facial oil i'm going to use about two drops of that so so what the oil does is it helps to seal everything in every product that i just used the oil will help to seal all of that in and then the next thing that i'm going to do is use a sunscreen to protect my skin from these harsh uv rays okay the sunscreen that i'm using is from sunday riley the light-hearted broad spectrums spf 30. i'm gonna use that and also for sunscreen i know that there's a rule for sunscreen but trust me that's is just a little too much for me the two finger rule till i get some um till i get a product that doesn't give me white cast or whatever i'm not doing that yet <laughs> so i start from my neck and my decollete <laughs> decollete and then i just apply that and then i go over my forehead and then i just do that and then i keep doing the moisturizing process till i see that i have um not so much like white or purple cast going on because i don't like that that thing that it gives okay the last thing that i'm gonna do um, is use some water on my face this is evian facial spray it's just water just clean clear water it gives me hydration helps my the um, the dry areas of my face or the perimeters of my face to get hydration Say, call me crazy, tell me then i'm gonna go ahead and put on some lip balm this is um a Ghanaian product it's from skin gourmet this is their raw wild raw pure wild honey and mint lip balm i lost um the cover but that's just what it looks like it's just pure shea butter and I love to moisturize my lip. I'm a lip balm as compared to, I'm a lip balm kind of girl. I'd rather use lip balm than use lip gloss. I use lip gloss when um, I do a look and I feel like I need to top it up with some lip gloss, but like a regular skincare, I do lip balm. So I'm just gonna leave this for my skin to absorb literally every bit of it. And then I'll come back and show you what my skin looks like after my skincare. So that's it okay guys so this is my skin after everything this is literally what my skin looks like every morning after i do my skincare i went ahead and did my edges i still have um <laughs> the scarf mark here but oh, that's okay but this is what my face looks like after my skincare after like before i do everything before i put on my wigs you know before i try to glam up this is what we look like so this is it for today's video comment down below if you have anything to say or any questions regarding the products that i use any step that you didn't understand any question that you want to ask comment down below and i'll be there to answer also if you liked the video please give me a huge thumbs up let youtube know that you really liked the video and you want to see more of my content okay yes i'm gonna go in now thank you guys so much for watching this video follow me on all my social media platforms across all social media platforms I love you guys.
<laughs> See you guys in my next video. Bye.